Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we got some for the stock class ESCs. Um, basically it's the Hobbywing non-polarity cap packs, solid state caps. And just going to give a quick explanation of what they do and why you'd use this one and not the longer one they do. Um, part number on this is HW308 4004. And it's the capacitor module non-polarity and it's the stock one, so the short one. So let's bring you in for a close-up look, show you what you do here, give a quick explanation of what they actually do because there seems to be a bit of misleading information on the internet or quite a lot. Um, so you know why you'd want one or if you want one or what to do with one if you get one. So let's bring you in for a close-up look. So this is a stock standard capacitor pack. And you basically want to make the wires as short as possible. You're going to solder them onto your ESC where your battery wires go in. So your positive and negative. Your stock ones are polarity sensitive if you like. So you've got to make sure your positive and negative go to right terminal. Now basically all these do. Um, there are people that will tell you they'll give you ESC more punch and... Basically, none of that is actually electrically or scientifically true. The only job of these capacitor packs is to cut down on the ripple when your ESC is switching really fast, your motor's drawing its maximum current. Basically, you'll get voltage sag and then it'll rebound. So these, their only job is to cut down on the micro ripple as much as possible because it gives you ESC FETs an easier time, basically. So they won't make up for a really crap battery. They won't give you any more top speed because the voltage from these is fed directly from the battery. So whatever your battery voltage is, that's what these are going to give out. So they won't increase your top speed, anything like that. What they will do, swapping from the standard caps, if you're pushing your motor and ESC hard, you'll feel these heat up. Now these are a lot more resilient to it. Worst case scenario with your capacitor pack is you push it that hard, you get a dead shot across one of these or both capacitors. You've then got a dead shot straight across your battery, so you can end up with your battery setting on fire. You can get weird situations where they will go dead short and they'll burn the wires or they'll cause other issues so swapping out for a solid state non-polarized one you're gonna get a lot longer life out of this than you will out of this and they take up less space basically they're a little bit smaller a little bit easier to live with and they just look a bit nicer you notice that these say stock and these are for running your stock classes. The longer packs are better or be definitely better suited or advised to go for one of the longer packs if you're going to run a modified class. Now for me, I've got a couple of these because I'm running 17.5 stock class for the Iris one. And when I eventually get it finished, because I've got a load of other projects on at minute, but we have the 420X Tamiya or Tamiya. So I will be swapping my cap packs out for these ones. They do fit really nice. They're really small. They're going to cope when they pushed hard a bit better. And you want to fit them and get the cables as short as you physically can. The closer, ideally, you'd have the caps soldered to the ESC. But it's not really practical. So... You're going to want to get them as close to your actual ESC terminals as possible. I mean, you could take it to extreme and fasten it sort of to your power wires. I mean, that would be an ideal situation. Get it really close and just fasten it on with a tie wrap or zip tie. That way, if you ever do manage to damage it somehow or you need to swap your ESC out, you can take it off. Um... But for me, I'm going to try and mount mine to the actual chassis because it's going to get the wires relatively short. But that's basically all these little things do. They get rid of voltage ripple. And it's caused by the sag from your lipos. 
as soon as your motor ESC starts dragging current through all the cables and everything, you will get sort of a microscopic drop and rise in voltage and it does give your ESC a harder time the worse that is the hotter your ESC will run the more chance you've got of damaging FETs so get a nice cap pack on there and it'll smooth that voltage out that is the only job of capacitors fitted at this point now technically you could do away with the battery altogether and run a massive bank of capacitors. The only problem is capacitors, unlike your battery, you pick your battery up, you touch the terminals and you're fine. You touch the terminals on a huge bank of capacitors and they will instantly discharge maximum voltage and amps into you. So yeah, you, that's why we don't run banks of capacitors. But hopefully that clears the... Uh, clear some things up and a few myths about these little things they the main advantage of running them is you prolong your life of your esc um and if you can't afford or can't get the solid state ones the stock ones are better than running nothing um but yeah they work on all escs you just have to make sure you've got the voltage capabilities of what s you're going to be running um and the more capacitors you have, the better it is, the better they are at doing the job, the more capacitance there is. Um, the only drawback is, obviously, the more you've got, the more weight and space you lose on your RC, which is not ideal. So there is kind of, that's why they do the short lightweight stock ones and then the slightly longer modified ones. But as always, I'll stick a link in the description below, but let's wrap this one up. So, there you have it, the Hobbywing solid state, non-polarity sensitive cap packs, and that in a nutshell is what they do, they get rid of voltage ripple. Um, I'm sure in comments I will get people saying that they give you more punch than that, they physically can't. They can't give you any more top speed, they can't give you any more punch, they can make your RC feel more predictable, levelling out voltage dips. Um, and certainly at the higher end of sort of skill level where every little bit makes a tenth of a second of a lap difference a good quality cap pack will make your ESC run slightly cooler which makes it more efficient and it will feel more predictable but thanks again for watching WTF RC cars if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell share to friends and family and uh, See you guys again in the next one.